Hi there guys, uh, this is the first in a series of three screen capture videos that I'm going to uh, be posting. Uh, all of course uh, captured with the same little scrot script which I'll be showing in, in the description. Um, this first one it was taken during the 25th Ludum Dare which was in December I believe. Unfortunately for me this was a slightly unopportune moment because I had exams right after this normally wouldn't have been a problem but since I was organizing an event um, and that took up a lot more time than predicted uh, I ended up having to catch up on coursework r during the jam rather than making a game which was a bit sad but uh, yeah. The reason I chose to try and host an event, we, we had had a sort of small private gathering for Ludum Dare number 24 with um, about four people in total and this time I wanted to go a little bit bigger so this time I think we had around 15 in total. Some veteran jammers including Piasi who came all the way from Marseille, some professionals or rather one professional, uh, Guillaume Martin from uh, Swing Swing Submarine, so of course you know big names. <laughs> He's a really nice guy, Guillaume. So. And, you know, a whole bunch of students as well, myself included, uh, avid game fanatics who weren't uh, too worried about uh, their exams, or rather cared more about uh, making awesome games and having good marks. You can see here I'm, I'm actually working on three different projects at the same time. Brainbot in C++, uh, Tutorberg in Java and there's also a little bit of phage in there which is also Java using the same engine. I, I originally hoped that Brainbot uh, would be able to conform to the theme. Indeed the whole idea of having uh, these sort of giant alien robots uh, wandering around through a city was sort of inspired by the whole you are the villain thing. Of course since the objective of the project was to build a 3D rendering engine and to have some sort of uh, collective movement AI in it. The, the technological concerns ended up taking up all of the time that I had really um, and as a result I wasn't able to make anything that was any more than a tech demo by the end of the, the jam. Uh, there was also the fact that I was having to work on several projects at the same time uh, rather than uh, a single game. That being said, you know, I'm very happy that uh, other people were able to have a good time and, and that we were able to offer them that uh, frankly because a couple of people uh, had never actually done a jam before, had never made a game before. You know, these people all talking for a very long time about wanting to make games, about being interested in making games, but never, never quite getting around to making a game. I think the brilliant thing about a game jam is that it enables, rather it forces you to finish a project, think it through from beginning to end in 48 hours. So you don't have any excuses like, oh, I've got exams or whatever. Though, of course, ironically, that was actually my excuse. <laughs> Towards the end, about uh, two hours from the finish line, I did try and launch myself into the building of my own little jam project. Uh, though of course, it, seeing as it was only a two hour game, it wasn't really worth submitting. I will of course be participating in the next Ludum Dare challenge, number 26. But this one I decided uh, in the end not to submit anything. Though I do consider it uh, an interesting achievement in itself to have 
to have hosted an event. This is the first one we've done in Montpellier, and again, hopefully for the 26th, we'll do another with even more people than before in a bigger room and so on. And of course, I need to start uh, organizing that now, really. Um, the mistake to make is to consider that uh, you have more more time than you think. Setting up a room where the jam is going to take place actually takes quite a lot of time and paperwork to get down to pat. So anyone thinking of uh, hosting an event like this, really figure out where you're going to do it as soon as possible because it's likely to be a problem otherwise. Anyway, that's all for now. I've got a couple more of these screen captures coming up, so uh, I'll keep watching and the new one should be up shortly.